Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, I'll make this one quick. Uh, one upgrade piece that I wanted to show you uh, that I decided to do for my oiling system. This is the rear uh, oil galley. Uh, it's a lot of times called the barbell. So the factory piece is this uh, plastic piece. It slides in here. And as the oil comes down that this galley, which this is the, uh, the driver's side, it's coming back from the uh, oil pump. So it comes down a galley down the, let's see if I can spin the block. So there's a galley that runs in here. And then it needs to make, uh, this is what forces the oil to make a, a right turn and come down into the oil filter. Comes through the oil filter and then back up. And then that's when it feeds uh, the rest of the block. So it's got a, an O-ring here at the back. Goes in this way. But this is the, the piece that makes uh, the oil make the right hand turn. So this is a, a precision machine piece. Uh, and it prevents any oil from leaking past uh, that might get past this one. Especially at higher oil pressures. Um, and then also this barbell piece. Uh, the oil is going to flow around it as it comes back up. Um, so it's a little thinner, um, but it's, you know, billet aluminum, so it's going to be stronger. Um, so the thinner piece is maybe a little bit less uh, restrictive as well. So anyway, uh, like I said, just lube this little um, O-ring when you slide it in. And then it also has um, a threaded piece back here in the back. So if you ever want to take it out, uh, you can thread a bolt in and pop it out. <clears throat> okay, so I've been working on this for a while now. So the issue I've run into, um, the oil galley, this uh, barbell, didn't want to go in past about there initially. So looking through the installation notes, they do say, <clears throat> you know, if it sticks, then you may have, may need to check for burrs in the factory machining of the, the block, which is understandable. Um, you know, you run your finger in there. And you can feel just a ever so slight burrs in there, but nothing of significance. But this barbell absolutely was not going in. So I took a 5.8 uh, drill bit and I really packed it with Vaseline. And I ran it in and out of here uh, just repeatedly and really trying to open this up by hand. Um, all the way back and you know I've been fighting with this for quite a while even tried putting the barbell in the freezer to see if that would uh, shrink it a little bit just you know the I get it the tight tolerances um, make it a challenge for getting this thing in and out but in my opinion they may have tried to machine this to too tight of tolerances um, damage the o-ring messing with it so I had to replace the o-ring and even now every time you try to get past one of these fittings then it finally will go all the way in so I finally got it in um, I don't know um, at the moment that I'm filming this I'm rather frustrated with it I'm not overly impressed I, I get it they, they try to make this within one thousandths uh, tolerance all the way in and that's what prevents the oil from being able to push past um, you know down there so you don't get unfiltered oil making it into the motor so there's a benefit there I just had to do a lot of clearancing uh, with this drill bit um, I wasn't the happiest with having to do that so my experience uh, mixed emotions it's in now so I guess I'm happy that I have it but I certainly understand why the factory used uh, the plastic piece that they do uh, it's much more forgiving to variances and tolerances uh, in the, that oil galley um, so you have to be very careful if you use you know these drill bits um, I packed it with Vaseline a couple times I'd go in there kind of clearance things around I bring it back out I clean it off um, I don't know if you can see but you can see the metal shavings uh, they get caught in the Vaseline because uh, I didn't want those falling down um, or getting stuck <clears throat> back in the oil galley or falling down uh, what would be into the oil filter adapter. And so I cleaned this out several times. So it just took more work to install than uh, I had anticipated. But 
there you have it. There's the uh, the Sac City uh, Oil Galley Barbell. Uh, it's now officially installed. Uh, so hopefully it does its thing and I don't have any other issues with it. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you install one of these, I'll be eager to hear your experiences uh, to see if you had the same issues in the oil galley uh, that I did. Uh, if not, uh, hopefully not. Hopefully it goes much smoother for you. But either way, thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing your comments below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.